programming the doctor mode settings of Adano RS. First, we need to determine your firmware version. Press OK to head into the main menu and OK on review. Move across to shipping information and press OK. Here you'll find your serial number, the country the pump was manufactured for, the date of manufacture, as well as the firmware version. If your firmware version is three or higher, take a note of the date of manufacture. Press OK and minus to head back to the main menu. Press minus again to head to the home screen. To get into doctor mode, we must press and hold the right arrow and then press and hold plus and minus so all three buttons are pressed simultaneously. Release them all simultaneously and a password box should appear. The password is 30 plus the day of manufacture. In my case, the 27th. Inside of doctor mode, much like user options, we hit a checklist. Right will move us down the list and plus and minus will act as our edit buttons. Again, OK only needs to be pressed when we hit the option that reads Exit, and that will save our settings. Number one is Preset Bolus. You should leave Preset Bolus off if you use the Bolus Calculator to create your boluses as and when you need them. Number two is Melody, your check glucose alarm. By default, Melody will be set to 120, two hours after a bolus. This means that two hours after a bolus, the pump will alarm to remind you to check your glucose. If you don't wish to be reminded, set this number to zero. Number three is bolus block. This is a limit on how many boluses you can perform in a time frame that you set in 10 minute increments. Number four is bolus ink. This is the increments we can move in when setting a bolus. For the most part, we set this to the minimum, 0.05. Number five is basal ink. And for the same reasons as bolus, we set this to the minimum, 0.01. Number six is ideal BG, your target blood glucose. This defaults to 5.5 and is fixed, although you can change it in the calculator as you calculate for added flexibility. Number seven, active insulin. This is a reference value showing the insulin on board at that given moment. If the pump is new, this will be reading zero. Number eight, deck ratio. This stands for decreasing ratio and is how we express duration of action. A 25% deck ratio is equal to a four hour duration of action as 25% of your insulin is used each hour until 100% has gone. A 20% deck ratio would be equal to a five hour duration of action as 20% of your bolus insulin is used each hour until after five hours, 100% has gone. Number nine is basal max and is the highest amount of basal insulin the pump will allow you to deliver in one hour. Number 10 is bolus max and is the largest amount of bolus insulin the pump will allow you to deliver in one go. Number 11 is daily max and this is the combined total, both bolus and basal, insulin that the pump will allow you to deliver in one day. Number 12 is safety ratio. This is a ratio that you can set, whereby if you try and deliver this ratio or above the average size bolus for the last three days, the pump will alarm and suspend. For the most part, we set this to off. Number 13 is block sensitivity. This is your occlusion alarm sensitivity. We have high, low, or medium as settings. If you deliver between 0.1 and three units an hour, we recommend leaving this at medium. Number 14 is exit. Press okay and okay again to save your settings.